Baby, there's a lighting out somewhere. Hello, everyone. Um, live begin today. I'm going to do a mini Valentine Day special. Um, I'm by myself, snowing up in Mandy's neck of the woods, so she was, uh, Little Larry to come down. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi, Joel. I got a little bit of a different angle. Hey, Beck. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Brian. And Stevie. Look at you guys. Yay. Good deal. Good deal, guys. We got quite a few in. Hey, Janet. <laughs> So how is everybody doing today? Up here in West Virginia, we're getting just a tad bit of snow. So that's not a... I'm not, hi, Virgie. Not a bad thing, but not a good thing either. Hey, Hanny. Hey, Tim. He's going to be joining me here if he gets to here. Hi, Mary. Gets in, in soon enough, but... I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and go live that way, because, we... hey, Chris, it's rainy there, Stephen, oh, my goodness, it was rainy all day yesterday here, cool in Florida, what, 50 degrees, Janet, <laughs> oh, <laughs> she had to hunt a remote, Becky had to hunt a remote, so, Everybody, dog, we got 12 of you in here already. So we're going to get started. We just got a few little things to do today. I'm doing my 23 and 23. I'll bring you up to date on that. I have worked on half my pantry. Timmy went in over the weekend, last weekend, and put my shelves in. I spent time, me and Sean. Hey, Janet. Hey, Stevie. Uh, spent a long time, uh, Wow, Chris, snowy. But we spent a long time painting them. And then I put a couple of things of polyurethane on today so that, you know, the areas that we was going to be using the most so I could clean up easy. So um, that's about the gist of what I've gotten done. I have videoed it, so it should go up Saturday or Sunday morning. Uh, so, hey, Heather, how are you? Hey, Linda. Hey, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this thing ain't too long. Most of my pictures you'll see together are going to be different signs. Valentine signs. I thought that was cute. Those little bears and the little love sign all come from uh, Dollar Tree as, the, uh, as well as the round. So the color that I used on this was lacquer. And then uh, I just left the, the uh, bears and the love sign the uh, base color that they came in. I thought that turned out really cute. So I I enjoyed making that one. I will put them in the uh, cabinet behind me and that way I can take pictures of them. But there were three, all these did, did different parts. This little love, <coughs> excuse me, I got a coat. I just glued onto his little belly over top, little heart that they had on there. And this next one, in the same line, was also a wood cut out from Dollar Tree Store. Got those spider webs from those, that glue gun. But I put in the background, you'll notice they, it's actually a Barbie piece of paper. But I just glued that to the back of it so that it would have a pink shining behind all those little cutouts. And then I put another one of those little love signs right there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm going to have to get me a little bit of water. I don't have to go far, though. My water's sitting right here in a little corner. I caught a cold after our last live last Thursday. And I've been fighting it ever since. Right there in the inside, this was what they called a uh, confetti. I bought that at Michael's one year. It came with little diamonds. I don't know if you can see them or not. Little diamonds. 
<coughs> excuse me, and little lips, and uh, little hearts. So I just took the diamonds and put them all on here. I, I thought that was a good idea to put the paper background behind it. That way you could see it, and it would be the color that you wanted behind it. Oh, yeah, I love green tea, Becky. I'll have to try some of that. If all y'all could just uh, hit the like button as you're going through watching me, it just helps me out a lot. So, there's that one. This, of course, you know I can't do a thing without a truck. Now, I'm going to show you what the original sign looked like. It's just one of those uh, happy fall, happy harvest signs that you get at Dollar Tree. I purposely didn't cover it up so I could show you what it looked like. Uh, let me refresh my screen. So I can see what you guys are saying. But then I just painted the back side of it, put a little wind in it, a bumper. And I made this little box that goes on the side and shoved it full of roses. I thought that turned out really, really cute. I'm going to put a hanger on it and hang it up on my wall for Valentine's Day. <coughs> yeah? And this one has all three of those things on it. It has the little diamonds the little hearts, and then I put all the little lips across the bottom of it. My glue gun is something else. But I thought that was cute. Just put the two little love, or two little hearts. They don't have love in it, but then the bigger ones do, or the smaller ones do. But I thought that turned out, I thought that'd be cute hanging on your wall. Just different little signs. To let you know what's going on. And then this one I thought would be good to make with little kids. It's just a board of <coughs> another one of those Dollar Tree boards. This time I did cover the back of it so that it looks completed. And then I put this is this is stickers, little heart stickers that I too got at I think it was Hobby Lobby. On weather clearance stuff. Then I put the top. And then these are little uh, clips. Just little clips. That if you have a kid. They could put their most favorite valentine that they get. So I thought that was a good idea to work with. You see if I can get us up in here. So I can see what the comments are. Okay. There we go. Now I'm in that. Got my voice up again. Let me get that down out of the way. There we go. So I thought that was cute. I think I got these. I'm wanting to say at Hobby Lobby. But they might have been uh, Dollar, Dollar Tree Store. I think they were at Hobby Lobby. I thought that was a cute little thing. Hey, you could just put whatever you want. A little note you want to leave to somebody. A reminder, your store list, whatever you wanted to put on there would be absolutely perfect. And this one is a gnome. The second, to my favorite is uh, the gnomes. And I just took him and repainted him. He was pink. And I just didn't really want pink. So I went through and all the places that were pink, I painted red. Uh, and I took off, um, or I put over what they had on there. I put those little hearts on there. Um, redone the XOXO with my chalk marker. So that's, I think he turned out really, really cute. I love gnomes. I'm going to do my whole living room in gnomes next year for Christmas. Okay, guys. Anybody got anything they need answered that Mandy ain't took care of? She's doing the, she's doing the spot up for me. 
Yeah, I like the paper background, Chris. I think that you can do it with a lot of things. I've seen, um, we're working on making some paper roses. These are those. And she took some of that big paper and made a, a different type of rose. So I'm going to work on that too. I thought they were pretty. Mandy did some that were in red and they are really pretty. So, um, with everything that's going on, I think it's, you, you should spend a little bit of time with people that you love. It doesn't have to be a, a fella or a woman. It could be your kids, your grandkids, your sisters. Hey, Hattie! Uh, just anybody. Just let them know that you're thinking about them on Valentine's Day and and uh, that they're special to you because as we are a test of time, you don't know if you got the next Valentine's Day for somebody or not. So, always take advantage of every moment in time that you've got and enjoy um, each step that you take, each uh, memory that you make. Because at one point in time, you're really going to cherish those. These are those little blocks that you get at uh, Dollar Tree Store. There are four in a package. You can get the ones that's two in a package. I'll show you them in a minute. But I just took them, painted them black to start with because they have little black dots on them. And then painted over it in that lacquer red. And I actually hand wrote those letters on there. And I think I didn't do too awfully bad job this time. Usually, I can't stand my handwriting. But I'm like, I've been watching these people and watching these people and watching these people. I said, surely I can write four little letters. And look at that. I got it done. I'm going to put these on my tear tray. I emptied my tear tray. Finally, Christmas has been gone for how many? Oh, a month? And I still, I just now took off of one tear tray, I took off my Christmas stuff. But I still got a lot of things to put up. Thanks, Joel. Well, thank you, Chrissy, Mandy. The, uh, it, t it turned out a whole lot better than what I was thinking it was going to. Because I was like, putting them little curly cues on us, like. But then, you know, it is a love sign. So you really, really need. Tim's on his way home. He's telling me he's in Skinnersville right now. <laughs> I don't know if he'll make it in before the end of this program or not. He's always excited. Hi, Crystal. How are you today? Hope all things is good up there. You all get any snow? Now, these two I wasn't going to show because, quite frankly, I think the face... Makes them look a little sad. But then Mandy made me understand that sometimes people are sad on Valentine's Day too. So, these are my little marshmallow people for Valentine's Day. Their eyes are just little little hearts. And then the nose and mouth is a upside down heart. So, I thought they were cute. I'm going to put them on my tear tray too. So, and this little bear, which is the one like I did on the first one, I'm just going to set him up on my tear tray. These are the different uh, size items you want to have for your tear tray. You could do multiples, different ones, um, different uh, ideas. You know, just go to the Dollar Tree store, find you one of those things that has five or six things hanging off of it, and make them different colors and put them on your tear tray. <laughs> they they are kind of cute, but the little eyes on them just seem like they just make them look a little sad. So, but anyway, I thought they were cute. I love my marshmallow people. And for anybody that hasn't seen that video, all you do is take a 12-inch balloon, cut the neck off, and those little rounded uh, blocks that are at Dollar Tree Store, you get two of them in a package. Just take and stretch that over there. You can see the bottom where the where the little thing is, and then you just decorate them how you want to. They just look. If you put them in the white like this one, they look like little marshmallows. But you could have little pink marshmallows too. 
Usually I put a little hair on them, but I didn't want brown hair on them. I started to do red hair like mine was when I was a kid, but. Oh, yeah. Timmy wants to know if anybody knows what Skinnersville is called now. Oh, dang on. I done, I done forgot, too. He'll shoot me because we go through there all the time. A little bit above lookout, uh, Jan or before you get to lookout, Janet, it's that place where Bandy's is at. Hey, Taylor. Glad to see you in again, dear. We'll have to have him to enlighten us what Skinnersville's called now. La Vista. Yes, yes, yes. That is exactly what it's called. I should have known that. Yeah, uh, Becky, uh, La Vista, up there where the Upper Bandy store was, is used to be called Skinnersville. Now, why, I don't know, but that's what it was called. So. All right. So. We've only been on about 16 minutes. I can't keep up with everything that's going on, so I'm going to look back through the comments. See if I missed anything. Thank y'all for commenting every week. That is awesome. I really appreciate that. Because that really makes me know that people are here and enjoying what I'm doing. <coughs> Talking so much, they could be. Now, the last thing that I got... You remember, I showed you my white bravery that we made last year out at my sister's house. I just took that same wreath, because I've decorated it two or three times, and I put little red uh, rosebuds on it, and the word love at the bottom of it. So, you can take these. Now, I did not glue these, these in, so I could just pull them out and redecorate it again. But I'm going to hang out on my door so that I can have it out there showcasing. But I thought it turned out really pretty. I just went out to the she shed. No, I'll tell a story. I went out to the little house and believe you me, there is mud everywhere. Everywhere. I thought I was going to weigh 40 more pounds before I got back out here. But while I was out there looking for my other Valentine stuff that I did last year because I wanted to put them up and showcase them so we could uh, redirect you back into the Valentine DIYs that I did on YouTube last year. So anybody's looking, just go to Kincaid Special Creations at YouTube and you, you'll see all the Valentine stuff that I did. But I couldn't find it, but I did find a ton of mud and I found those little red rosebuds. So I thought, well, I'll just put them in my white wreath and make a nice little door hanger for the uh, Valentine's season. What are you guys going to do for Valentine's? Do you decorate? Do you go out to dinner? Do you buy your significant other flowers? You know, what is a way, or do you not celebrate it at all? Yeah, Jenny K. That that I mean, you can stick it in between the rags and the thing with any of, and you know you got plenty of flowers out there at your other house, so you could totally put flowers in there and decorate it up. And it's being a solid white, it goes with any season. But anybody's collar, like Aunt Joan, I think, was yellow, so she could put whatever she wanted in there too. I found some yellow roses when I was out there earlier today. I'm going to have to do something for Easter with them yellow roses. Jenny K., I don't know whether you remember or not, but it was Daddy's favorite color, I mean, favorite flower, the yellow rose. Seems to be like somebody told me that one time, but I can't really remember. Yeah. I'm going to 
not sure what we'll be doing. I think I think Valentine's Day is on a Tuesday this year. I'll make dinner and ho oh, that sounds good, Beck. You know, I don't really know. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I'm pretty sure Daddy's favorite flower was a yellow rose, was a yellow something. But I'm thinking it was a yellow rose. So it's terrible things that you can't remember. Of course, you know. Back in the day, they didn't really put a lot of stock in all that kind of stuff. But I remember somebody, maybe Mommy told me that Daddy's flower was, was favorite flower was yellow rose. Hey, Mona. That's all right. You can go back and watch a replay if you missed some of it. We just went over <coughs> Valentine's stuff. I didn't really do tutorials on these guys because basically it was just painting and gluing. So those are things that you can just rewind this episode or watch it on YouTube. Just look to see what I did. <coughs> and you can recreate. This one was a little bit more intense because all I did with the box was I took a block from the Dollar Tree store. <coughs> And put, uh, took craft sticks and cut them down and added them to the front and the bottom. And then just filled them up with roses. So, I thought that was cute. Yeah, true. There's this one. I like this one. It looks like a little lace uh, heart. And then the little bears. So they're really, really easy to do. <coughs> <coughs> and of course, my favorite. Kimmy must be here. Sam's whining at the door. I'm trying to hang in long enough for him to at least pop in the door and say hello. So, um, yes, I'm going to put the photos up on the page. I need to put up the ones, if you'll look in the background here, you see I've got all the snowman ones up. I need to take pictures of those and then move them around and put the, the, these Valentine ones up and take pictures and post them all up. I'll try to get that done by tomorrow anyway. So that way everybody can get to see what we are doing, what we're we're taking care of. Um, and then I'll hopefully get the other video for the 23 and 23 up. And next, year, next Wednesday is February the 1st. My great-grandson's birthday, actually. Cruz will be two years old. Can't believe we've had him two years. That's strange, having two years. But, um... Yeah, that would be nice, Beck. I've never seen a double bud rose bush, but I have seen the yellow ones. I might try to find one and just plant it, see how well it does. Back when me and Timmy got married out there, their house was out on the hillside out there, and below it was the most beautiful rose bush. I wear that rose bush with too. It is just out of here. So. Yeah, I can't believe uh, Cruzy's going to be two. Uh, Kari just turned six. Cruz is two. I'm feeling the age, guys. I'm feeling the age. <laughs> feeling the age. And now we decided to renovate the house. Now, isn't that something? But once I get it done, then I've got more time to do everything. And here he is. He just walked in the door. <laughs> 
Ayan. He just walked in the door and Sam, come here, Sam, Sam, come here. He ain't gonna come nowhere near me. <laughs> His daddy just walked in the door and he ain't gonna come nowhere near me. So he, here he is. Hey guys. He come, he come down the road with the snow and everything else. Well, guys, just to be in to say hello to you guys. I love snow. That's why I live in West Virginia for the snow. <laughs> You'll have to turn the thing down so we can hear everything. But so, has anybody got anything for Tim? Hey, Brian says hey. Hey, brother, how's it going? There well, we are. I'm getting down to her size. <laughs> we're same size now. Yeah, yeah, and uh, she's not sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I stand it up, but I'm still short. Yeah. There you go. Hey, pup. Cambridge is really How you guys doing? Hello. Come on. Come on. Come on, y'all see everybody? Here he is. Here he is. That's all I'm saying. He can't stand it. His daddy walked in the door. How's everybody today? Hope we're all safe. <laughs> Mandy laughing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sam is definitely excited. He when he heard dad going up the hill, he's just whining <laughs> and carrying on. Oh boy. <laughs> Man, you cut them toenails. You trim something. <laughs> that's that's an everyday squirt. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, it's been 26 minutes and my voice is just about ready to give out on me. I will post pictures to these things I've done up. In, uh, check with me on February the 1st at 1 o'clock for West Virginia Wednesday. Uh, I've got a couple ideas in mind, West Virginia related, so hope to see you there. Good to see everybody. All right. See you. Talk with you. Y'all have a good day. Everybody have a good, safe winter. Until next time. I gotta get up here and hit the finish button.